Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising. And it's weekly reading for the week of September 16th to the 22nd. Your cards this week, Pisces, we have Oracle card, the Age of Light. We have the Hierophant, the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the Death card, Queen of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. So Pisces, you know, you guys and your intense readings, it always happens. Here's another one. We've seen this oracle card before, you know, it's still the theme continues of you guys ascending spiritually, um, lifting your vibration and releasing the past. It's just, um, it's been happening definitely over the last month for you guys. So I'm just going to start by reading out your oracle card here, the Age of Light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. Mystics and sages throughout the ages have predicted this period in history and you've decided to incarnate in the middle of it. There is no mistake that you are supposed to be here at this time of great change. If you ever feel unprepared or daunted by the path that is calling you, know this. You've been in training for this for lifetimes. You're way more than the days that have breathed life through you in this life. You're also all the lifetimes that came before. All of these experiences have polished your soul into the most magnificent expression that is your authentic self. So Pisces, you know, I really feel that, you know, a lot of you, you know, you're a spiritual sign. A lot of you are here at this time in the age of Aquarius to be part of this um, evolutionary shift that's upon us. Um, some of you may or may not have heard of that, but we as a race are going through our next stage of evolution, which um, I believe is not, you know, physical evolution as such, but more of a spiritual biochemical transformation to raise our frequency, to bring us into a new state of being, into, you know, a place of joy and harmony, um, a completely different uh, times than we're in now. And you guys seem to be um, somewhat at the forefront of it. I think a lot of you are light workers and are really here to help accelerate that move. And I just keep seeing it in your readings, which is why, you know, I'm just calling out what I see here. So let's start here with the Queen of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. Because Pisces, I did um, clarify that Queen of Cups and look what popped out, the Tower card. For me, this combination says everything about releasing past energies that are based on a construct that no longer fits the energy, the frequency, the vibration that you're moving into. Um, for me, this talks about um, there is no way to cling on to the past anymore because the universe wants to move you into a new direction. It talks about no longer, you know, uh, you know, just holding on to. Uh, materialism and you know focusing on material possessions and your money and things like that um, you know it's really saying that you know you're moving into uh, a deeper sense of awakening maybe more of a sense of spirituality maybe one where you know keeping up with the Joneses or the you know material possessions are not going to be as important to you and it's about releasing the grip of the past so that you can move into um, into this change because the tower comes in, you know, when, you know, your life needs an overhaul or that, you know, you're not on the path that you're truly supposed to be on. You know, that is a blessing in disguise, even though it can feel pretty chaotic at the time. It's the universe coming in with a good old shake up and a measure of chaos to shift things um, quickly and abruptly for you. And it can often come in when there's been smaller signs along the way that, you either may not have seen because you haven't tuned to it or you've been just caught up in the busyness of life or sometimes we choose to ignore them because change can be painful, change can be hard um, and sometimes if we do that long enough then the universe comes in with a tower moment to make sure that this time, you know what, we listen to that change. It brings down, it brings down things built on you know, false structures, false constructs, um, you know, situations, relationships that are not serving us. It comes in to reveal truths to us, to make us see things for what they are, so we make deep changes in our lives. Because it says that, you know, what we were previously, um, you know, the situation we were previously involved in, with wasn't a good fit for us. It was a, you know, a square crown on a, um, sorry, a round crown on a square tower. 
So that is a tower moment, you know, it can really feel like, it, it can feel like a chaotic situation, um, a confrontation, an argument, or it could just be an epiphany, an awakening, seeing a truth that you haven't seen before, something coming to light for you. Because I feel in the past, maybe, you know, you're in a situation where it really was about maintaining face, keeping composure, you know, it's what the Kent Queen of Cups in this situation that's what I'm feeling that previously you might have just been about having a life that you know looked great on the outside and that you had that sense of composure and you know everything in its place and you know just being what society expected you to be um, but I really feel like that is what's coming down at the moment you're going to be seen in a different way and that four of pentacles says to me well look, there's no way to hang on to that past and if you do then you do risk devaluing the future because even though it feels chaotic now or in your recent past you may have already transitioned through that what you're heading to is far greater so there's a certain amount of letting go and surrendering that needs to happen and that's why I think we see the death energy in that central position for you this week so we have the death card um, which came out with the king of wands and I clarified that and I got the five of cups so you know the five of cups energy let's talk about that first the five of cups talks about somebody who is you know a little bit stuck in the past or focusing on past losses and grief and despair who is you know holding on a little bit like that four of pentacles person um holding on to the past that can't be changed because the water and or wine whatever it is in these cups has already spilt it's soaked into the earth there's no way to get it to get it back and when you know we focus on something that we can't change that's when that cloak of negativity or depression can um, can can come in because you know we're really hoping for something that there is no way to change in that situation the only way to look is forward and if this person was just to turn around they could see there's two beautiful opportunities just waiting right behind and all along you know there's been a bridge back to a, a sanctuary to cross those emotional waters you know because water is emotion in the tarot in the tarot deck so there really has been that um that pathway to a better place right there but this person's been too busy focusing on the losses but i really feel like that is being released this week um, because we have the death card and the king of wands so death comes in as an energy to clear the slate to allow something to transpire to pass to die um, that's no longer serving your highest purpose so we have you know the tower and then we have death directly after that so it's a real strong sweeping a st strong clearing of your slate you know uh, if there's nothing um, certain in life uh, the only thing that is certain is that natural cycle of rebirth and birth and death it's a very natural thing so we must let things that are ready to complete complete so that then we can allow those new opportunities to come in because death has the promise of you know a brighter dawn you know right on the horizon for us if we can just surrender to it to look it into the face in the face and allow it to do its work it also offers real growth in spiritual evolution through going through that cycle you know when we start to cling on and say stay stagnant in a situation that's when we um, limit our growth uh, and don't get to a next life lesson so I'm really happy to see the king of wands here because the king of wands is a strong visionary you know strength power he's able to see forward see the future forward direction you know he holds the ace of wands here he he understands that um, you know there through having that forward vision there's real growth and inspiration on the horizon so this shows me that you are ready to move forward with that kind of fiery action after the death card has come through and done its work and then backing that up we have the knight of pentacles and the hierophant so very interesting again here comes the new opportunities after the clearing of the slate so yeah interesting combo here so what this says to me with the hierophant is that there is a questioning of um, values and constructs that needs to happen and we talked about that with the tower card how um, in terms of something coming down that 
um, doesn't suit you anymore and doesn't serve your life's purpose. Well, the Hierophant can talk about institutionalized settings that could be a committed relationship or marriage, could be, you know, a, a job or career in a, you know, banking or finance or university study. It's different for different stages of life, but really the Hierophant, you know, it's asking you to question your position within that and whether those values um, fit and align with your values or whether you know it's time to go in your own direction and especially with you know this age of light and this kind of sense of spiritual awakening that I've been seeing in your readings even though you might have this great career and all these things going on I have the sense that it might not be fulfilling for a lot of you so you might choose the second key, which indicates, you know, unlocking your own future, your own direction, rather than that that may have been imposed on you by, you know, families, um, parents, these institutions, doing the things that society tells you you should be doing. And for you, you know, that tower moment's already saying, look, it's time to reconsider things that are no longer working for you in your life. And when you do that, um, Pisces, that's when the true gifts come in. That's when the true opportunities present themselves. You know, we have the Knight of Pentacles here, who once again holds the Ace of Pentacles. I also think it's interesting that, you know, we have it in the reading with the Four of Pentacles. This is someone who's holding on, who's in a scarcity mindset. Um, and now we see somebody who understands that, you know, by going their own way, by doing things um, that align with their own values, you know, then they can actually, you know, hold this Ace of Pentacles and know that they're going to call more, more in it. There's no hanging on for dear life. There's no sense of scarcity in this card because the Knight of Pentacles knows that he can go and plant more fields. He can reap a new harvest as long as he puts in that methodical, efficient groundwork. So it could be asking you, um, in order to set this new direction for yourself, Pisces, to do some planning and really think about what you want to bring in in your next season and do some preparation for that. But either way, you know, with this Knight of Pentacles, it says that there is offer of um, stability coming in for you. Potentially financial resources as well, new opportunities for the way you earn your money, greater stability in relationships, all through allowing that tower to fall, aligning um, you know, with your true values, through allowing the death card to, to sweep away things that don't serve you anymore, to surrender to that energy, to go your own way, to go in your own direction, your own values. And you know, this is all coming through you know, this vibrationary change that you're experiencing. And this whole process here that we've just explored really is that process of peeling that onion and raising your frequency of releasing the past, of getting to the next kind of evolutionary cycle in your spiritual development. So Pisces, I just keep seeing that for you. I know it sounds intense. Um, I think those of you who relate to this reading will know what I'm talking about. So I wish you all the best with the next um, layer of your onion, peeling it, revealing it, and getting to the next level on your soul's ascension. So Pisces, keep in mind as a general reading, as I said, it won't resonate with all of you. Well, for those it's meant for, feel free to leave me a comment. I'd love to know how this is actually playing out in your everyday life. Um, and I will be back here with you for another reading next week.